We all put some things off, some of the time. Most of us are amateur crastinators. Others are pro. And for pro crastinators, every day is a fresh opportunity to put things off until tomorrow. Oh, I was good at it. So good. I was a procrastin ninja. Wore it like a badge of honor. Until someone actually gave me a badge. Then I didn't feel so proud. I thought, is it really worth all the last minute pressure? No. Is it worth the sleeplessness and the yelling at colleagues and kids and cats? No. Can I change? Yes. Yes, I can. And yes, I did. This is how. I used visual reminders. One was a post-it note stuck onto my laptop that said, Procrastination does not earn you any money. That was a good motivator. I also put some positive reinforcement up, like professional, proactive, productive. All things I wanted to be better at. And now I am. One of the things I specifically got better at was just getting going. Because we all know the first step is usually the hardest. I broke tasks up into small steps. Then I took the first step by the scruff of its neck. After that, the next step seemed easier. And the next one, even easier. Along the way, I realized that the reality of something is often much more doable than the scary idea of it. We tend to build things up into monster tasks, thinking our tax returns, for example, will take days, weeks, when you can actually do it in a few hours. And while we're being realistic, let's acknowledge that changing a lifelong habit takes time. Sometimes you'll feel like the hare, but you really want to be the tortoise, slowly, steadily becoming a whole lot of stealthy. So there you have it. Four practical ways to stop stalling and keep things moving. Just like a real ninja.